Hi hey guys, in this video I will talk about dispersion of data. So let's get started. First question is what is dispersion of data? It is a measurement of variation, disperse, spreadness from the normal distribution of data. There are lots of statistical term you see in to measure the uh, variation in data like range, quartile, squareness, kurthosis and standard deviation. Ever you think why uh, it is important to know the variation in data? Sometimes what happened that central values or central tenden tendencies like mean median mode is not reliable and knowing the variation in data so as the how much uh, central value is reliable how much we, we can believe uh, the term central tendency i will show you some example real life example by which you can understand knowing the variation uh, uh, it is important to make the intelligent decision in your daily life before moving forward i want to quick revision uh, what is the normal distribution it is also called as natural distribution it means that all the objects uh, in this universe follow the rules uh, which is made by physics that's why we find the data is normally distributed likewise all the peoples in the world follow the rules of government that's why you find the data is normally uh, distributed so if uh, this is false you you find lots of crime in the real world but uh, but uh, most of the people uh, follow the rules right this is the example one let us suppose uh, in this example i will show you the wages of labor every country has own system of wages act like in india there are wages act 1948 so in this act what happened that uh, employer has to give the minimum wages to the employee or labor for for working in their office like in india let us suppose rupees 100 rupees per day and there are three laborers working in this example and uh, this is the inspector he interested to know which company doing fraud means who does not follow the rules uh, which is mentioned in the wages act 1948 this is the scenario number 1 in which inspector don't know statistics right so in left uh, right hand side you can see the data of company a there are only three labors okay and uh, in below the comp the data of company b in real life there are uh, 200 500 even 1000 of labors working in a particular project but for simplicity i will write a uh, three labors only and uh, inspector does not have time to uh, analyze each and every labors wages that's why he interested to know the average daily wages here is the data of uh, average the average average 120 of company a and uh, the average of company b is also 120 suppose he does not know the statistics what happened in this scenario he can't able to recognize the fraud company uh, which it does do not follow the wages act as you can see the as, uh, company a doing the fraud work because uh, there are two labors labor 2 and labor 3 uh, don't get a minimum 100 rupees okay now this is the scenario number 2 in which inspector know the statistics and uh, i calculate the standard deviation and as you can see the standard deviation of company is 91 and the standard deviation of company b is 0 so in this scenario what happen uh, inspector no statistics if he no statistics he can able to recognize the fraud company so as you can see the standard deviation is uh, 91 as compared to the, this is very big difference if this is true what uh, he able to know something going wrong in this company a so now what he do he 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 send constable and head constable to inspection for uh, in the company a right so 
as you can see knowing the variation in data helps to uh, making decision this is another example bat every know buddy everybody knows what is bat so he is ajay and he is interested to uh, bat on cricket this is very low risk bat in which son has to give has to give rupees 10 per run if if you watch the cricket you know uh, these players sachin tendulkar and virendra sehwag and uh, as you can see Sachin Tendulkar played three matches and Virendra Sehwag also played three matches and uh, their run uh, Sachin Tendulkar run on first match is 65 run second match 75 run and 55 as on so like why like this uh, this is the data of Virendra Sehwag Ajay don't know the statistics and Vijay know the statistics so he anal Vijay and Ajay analyze the data and uh, Vijay know statistics that's why he know what is the meaning of as you can see the average is same 65 and 65 but the only difference is standard deviation so Vijay Vijay select the Sachin Tendulkar because he, Vijay know statistics and he take a smartly decision he know what is the meaning of his uh, variation they are betting on the fourth match now result is come out and as you can see the uh, Vijay is win by 200 rupees as you can see right so knowing the it's variation in data is very important to make the intelligent decision in your daily life and there are lots of example you can find in your daily life there are statistical term uh, by which you can measure the variation of data and how you can calculate uh, in I will show you in next video for now thank you